Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing A My Lady, and today we are doing a first impressions on the Dr. Belmer Sitka Moisturizing Lip Balm. <laughs> Today I am finally trying out this Sika Moisturizing Lip Balm from Dr. Belmere and I have been putting this off for I don't even know why. You ever get it in your head that you're like, oh I just gotta wait for the perfect moment? Honestly guys, there's no perfect moment, just get poop done. That's me today, I'm getting poop done. So this product here, I purchased it <laughs> a couple months ago now probably and I've been needing it but now I really need it. Like I really need it. My lips have been very angry with me lately because I have been helping my mom move. We've been using masks. It's causing chafing, irritation, all that galore. Plus when I, stre I stress out, I also don't eat healthy. I was also a little bit dehydrated and I bite my lips. Something I kind of reverted back to. I haven't done it for a while, so I gotta stop doing that. Anywho, today we are first going through with the key ingredients of this particular product here. I haven't tried it. As you can tell, I already did open it. I haven't opened it to smell or anything yet, but I just opened it to take some pictures. This is formulated with some good stuff, guys. So you know how much I love all the Dr. Belmere stuff. I mean, I've been using the foaming cleanser for my pimples, and that's been helping. Also, I've been using the ampule, which I love and I rave about. And now we're adding this to the roster. I've used their deep recovery cream before, especially under my nose in the winter because it helps keep the um, the the, ch the chapping away since I always get sick in the winter. And that's been really good. But today, now I'm going to extend this to my lips. I'm going to first tell you all the great goodness about it. Then I'm going to try it. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like with makeup on top of it. Let's get to it. So this is formulated with four key ingredients. But the two main key ingredients is the Sitka or also known as tire grass which helps to kind of like soothe sensitive skin and soothe the like, damaged skin it also helps with creating a, a, a protective barrier for your skin so it you know helps to retain its moisture but the other thing that I haven't really heard about is that it also contains birch tree sap and so I did a little bit of digging about that apparently according to this particular website that I cannot pronounce I think it's Liu Liu I don't know but Liu Liu in Chinese just means like pick at it like Liwa, Liwa. According to this particular website, the NK Beauty birch tree sap is revered because it helps to reduce inflammation and uh, it purifies and it hydrates your skin. It also contains 17 amino acids, minerals, enzymes, proteins, antioxidants, and vitamins, which are all have great benefits for your skin. K-Beauty lovers also love birch tree sap products because of its healing and anti-aging properties. So we, our lips do age, guys. I mean, sometimes they thin out. They also wrinkle. The lines become less defined, as I've noticed lately with mine over the past, you know, few years actually but so this hopefully will help it out according to one of my favorite websites um, healthline.com the birch tree sap is a popular ingredient in lotions and other cosmetics because of its hydrating and antioxidant properties the other cool thing is that birch tree sap also includes vitamin c and we all know the wonderful benefits of vitamin c because that also helps stimulate the production of collagen and then we need that to keep our skin strong and elastic and just the way we want it. Let's get to the disclaimer, guys. I'm not a skincare expert. I am just a lover of makeup, lover of skincare products. The other key features about this particular product is that it is good for sensitive skin, is dermatology tested, and is fragrance free, and it's all free from all of these things that you don't want in your skincare products. So that's good to know too, right? So another key ingredient in this, because I did mention that there are four, uh, is photosynthesine. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I might be wrong, so correct me if you like. And um, that is actually added to apparently quite a few. And they are added to the products because it's actually the building blocks of ceramides. Photosynthesine is, it, although it sounds like super duper, scientific it's a, it's a type of fat it's a type of lipid and it's naturally found in the outer layers of skin as well as in many plants and animals so when added to skincare products and this is all found in the healthline.com website it enhances the skin barrier function so it keeps that moisture in because a, a strong skin barrier helps to protect your body from pollutants allergens irritants and again helps to lock in your moisture so that's why that is good the other key ingredient in this particular product is this one was really hard to say. Morohaya? One second. Going onto YouTube. Morohaya. 
Moraia. I can't say these words. This particular product, the Moraia, is a type of plant. According to the Nature's Collection website, Moraia is used to retain moisture by restoring the moisture in your skin's barrier. So everything about the product here is to restore and build skin barrier strength and help help to retain moisture because that is what's going to help your skin feel amazing. Now the other thing is guys outside of this I always do recommend if you're going to be outside for a while use an SPF on your lips as well. I have a lip balm with SPF from Avon and I put that on top before I go out all the time because this is a very sensitive area. Those are the four key ingredients. Let's move on into the first impressions part of this video. So here is the tube. It is a very basic tube. It always talks a little bit about the product on the actual tube itself. It is a daily repair product. It's made in Korea and it has four grams net weight. And what I really do like about it, the fact that it has a fairly long shelf life. We're right now in 2001. It doesn't expire until 2023. It looks like in October. So I got plenty of time to finish this up. I guarantee you I'll be done this way before that unless I have allergic reaction to it, which I highly doubt. So let's open this beauty up. Okay, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. It's thicker, like it's rounder than most of my usual lip balms. And I smell nothing. Yeah, I don't smell anything. And I'm gonna assume it's gonna swatch clear. Oh yeah, yeah, like there's nothing on that. Like you can't see anything on it. You can't even see the shine. Okay, well. That was exciting. Now let's apply it. So the application process, guys, super duper easy. All you do is apply it as needed. So here we go. I'm applying it. This is my lips before. So you see, I do have some irritation on it right now. I was definitely dehydrated um, when I was like doing all the moving and stuff. I wasn't <laughs> taking care of myself as much as I should have been. So you are coming to my rescue, my friend. Okay. It's really big. Like, that's the main thing. Like, it feels really big. I'm just going to do half my lip first to see what it looks like. Okay, so you see, it's just a little bit shinier. It's not sticky. It's really weird because I'm carrying it side to side. But it's not sticky at all. In fact, it feels, it just feels like a protected shield, really. So far, it feels really good. I don't taste anything either, so that's good. Doesn't encourage me to lick my lips. And so let's continuing on to the other side. It feels really nice. It's not silky. It actually feels thicker than most of my lip balms. Um, yeah, once you get it on, it almost feels like a petroleum jelly type of uh, product. But to apply it, it felt a little bit thicker. I do like the size of it though, so that I don't have to go like, eh, 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 eh. it's just like one swipe and it's done. And I have, you know, decent sized lips too. I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back and we're going to put lipstick on top of it. This is something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put on, you know, like a nourishing lip product before I put on my makeup to give, you know, a chance to like go in. Wow, my lips actually feel pretty good right now. Like there's no tingling, no stinging at all. All I feel, they have a layer of slipperiness to it, but not oiliness. Well, like a thick, something, it's thicker than, than let's say if you put coconut oil on your lips. And it's not pilling, which is nice. All right, I want to do the rest of my makeup. I'll be back in a bit. I am back. The majority of my makeup is done. Today, we're going to use the purple with beige because maybe matchy a little bit of my purple here. And I'm going to try to see how the fits. It still feels really slick on my lips. And like, not like a thin oil, but a nice coating. So I'm interested to see how this will lay on my lips. I think this will actually be really good to wear it at night to sleep too. Anyways, here you go. Oh yeah, it still takes on color really well. If anything, it takes on color even easier. But that means that most likely this will end up being transferable. And that's it guys. So I am really happy with the Sitka Moisturizing Lip Balm. It feels great. Interested to see how many, how often I'm going to apply it, apply it throughout the day. And it's really comfortable wear. Like it doesn't burn. It doesn't feel like it's already worn off. My lips don't feel dry at all. It wears really nicely under lipstick. So again, really happy with it. 
I, if you're going to wear this with a matte lipstick, most likely it will add a little bit of either sheen to it or it will cause the lipstick probably to come off easier or more transferable than normal because you are putting something, a barrier between your lips and the actual makeup products. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video that I made. If you did, make sure you do give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you do join the Dancing Game on Lady family. Hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. If you also want to find me on my other socials, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and I have a blog. All the content information will be down below. And always, guys, if you are considering joining Avon, but you have some questions, make sure you do reach out to me on either Instagram or Facebook so that I can chat with you and help you walk through, you know, what your concerns are, what your questions may be, and to see whether or not we are a right fit to be team up together. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.